Okay, so there we go. It's already morning. Quite nice, so we don't need that torch or whatsoever. We don't need any torch, we don't need this on us anyway. This point either. So let's just go down and see about Vashek. Hello, everybody. Jump up on pebbles and have a. This is coming to horsey, but much more importantly, a few more fruits are coming on horsey as well. And I'm gonna be eating a few apples. 88, yes, I'm bad. Almost, rather going bad. Not yet, but. Need to get processed. Yeah! Right now, right here, repairing the fence. Yes, it's actually him. Good. My respects to you. You too, boy. I hear you can tell me something about humans. No, sir. M my master would whip me for telling tall tales again. But really, it's all true. I won't hit you. Just tell me, is it the truth? Really, sir. I still see them every time I try to sleep. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So what do the cumans wear? They wear the skins of dogs hunted <laughs> down in the night. <laughs> no not weapon really. can hurt them. <laughs> right. Thanks. Well, that was quite helpful. I'll be with you. I hope that I'm not gonna be supposed to get... Oh yeah, actually, I'm supposed to get a hold of a dog skin. Okay. Get a hold of some animal teeth right now, dog... Of a dog skin. Hunt down a dog at night and skin it. Uh, yeah, no. No, thank you. As soon as you have the feathers, fangs, and dog hide, go and see Andrew. It's really. At, at this point, it's also everything just poppycock, so. I could be just getting the wild boar fang and be done with it. Not getting the real things. Because I'm not gonna be getting. A real dog hunt, I think, or rather dog hide. Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing this one. That was yeah. not helpful, and I'm gonna go to the trunk, I think, and get the wild boar task that I'm having there. Hopefully the, in, uh, the inner room is still gonna be mine. So I'm gonna be able to do exactly what I want right now. Still mine, good. So, where is the boar tusk? Uh, one of them. Yep, that is exactly what we need. Okay, and right now it was only for a moment there, but it was that we are trespassing, which means that our rent for the room has already run out. There you go. Oh, 
onions, radishes, everything you need for a proper soup. There's gonna be chicken with the trader here. Oh, he is selling it. Maybe he is having something that I want. Because you kind of never know that you could be finding to you. the stuff that you need. Oh well. A uh, beet, cabbage, charcoal, charcoal. No, he's not having anything useful. Not anything useful on him, which means Bye. we jump up. Have a look at those melons. Wouldn't they make fine treat? Feel free to They sure would. But we're coming back to town back at this point. Or are we? Because there's a better way here. Okay, so we're just gonna head it now west. Yeah. Ah. Oops. <laughs> okay, didn't expect that. Thought that I could be actually shortening my way, apparently not so much. Uh, I hit, I hit my hit right there, and I thought this is actually gonna be passable, and it's not. Alright, I need to go back. Yeah. Alright, let's take the proper route right now. Wow. <laughs> That was also looking like it could be dropped again. Yeah. Better here. Probably the same that saw me kill those bandits last night. At the crossroads here. Was it a bit more to the right or not to build him? Maybe I already kind of seen it. Where is it? That is. That's the place of that guy. Okay, so what is gonna be the next quest after the horn? Is the question, of course. Greetings. I have that horn. Ha! <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing the smile wiped off Nicholas's face when he finds out. As for you, the old man says you're in. Nice. Last time you told me that if I brought the horn, you'd finally tell me what's going on. Let's put it this way. Our old man's had it in for Master Huntsman Nicholas for years. Why does he have it in for him? Well, let's let's first pry a There's bit, and reason. then go with Hanekin. The half is Nicholas lied under oath and almost got him hanged. That's a fair enough reason. You're telling me. What's he trying to achieve? Do you want to so know? It seems that it really Ask is Hanekin. The what they think of the master huntsman. The old man is making a bigger and bigger fool of him day by day. Soon enough, the gossip will reach the ears of Sir Divish himself. And that's just what the old man wants. Hmm. It wouldn't by any chance be that Hanekin hair everyone's talking about, would it? Hear ye, hear ye. The lad is smarter than he looks. It is him, as it happens. What have you been hearing about him? <laughs> that he's a sorcerer. Yeah, that's a good start. Uh... 
Uh, how, how are we going to be starting here? I heard that he was innocent. I heard the hunt dropped in a minute because of Margaret. As my old grandma used to say, the truth always comes out in the end. Anyway, if you want to know the details, ask him yourself. So, what comes next? We're just getting something big ready. We'll make camp in the north of Broder Woods. There's a concealed glade, and that's where you'll find us. All right? I'll meet you there. All right. All right, all right. So that's that. You can train me in lockpick. I don't exactly need that just now. Take care. Okay, so we resolve this one. And we should be really telling this to Robart, yeah. Okay, so where is the next next one? Hair hunt. Ask around the village, report back to Nicholas. Master and go to get to Robart. Yeah, Nicholas is really kinda douchebag, so I don't want to really talk to him all that much. So yeah, that's gonna be a glade and we are gonna be supposed to of course <coughs> catch all of them because they are still Sorry, didn't close the door. <laughs> uh, they are still really doing their poaching, killing everything, so it's not really cool what they're doing. Should be just basically trying to come clean. And point on Nicholas being the guy who actually yeah. killed, or whatever. Or did it because of Margaret. Something like that, attempt to do this. Uh, this is kinda dicky. Maybe you just don't believe that justice can be had, which is a possibility. Because, like, they don't have any kind of cameras or <laughs> NCIS and something like that. So they basically go by... Just by said word. And who is more trustable and something like that. Greetings. I have some trophies. Show me. They deserved it, the buff. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm just still kind of gonna look at the quest because I'll be kind of liking to go where it was. So... Okay, so that was basically what we were supposed to do. I would still be liking to actually go there and get to the bottom of it because it seems like that he's not really the bad guy in the end, that Nicholas is the bad guy. And hopefully the conversation is gonna be leading there. I've come about the poacher, sir. Oh. Oh, so you're the one Nicholas was talking about. Alright. I'll send some of my men with you. Are you ready to set off? Question is if I should actually arm up. Or go like this. But right now there's no point. If I'm gonna be showing there with soldiers. No, I have to see a couple uh, of there's no then reason why up. I shouldn't be already armed it won't up. Be long before they scatter into the woods. Who knows when we might catch them all together again? Yeah. Luck, then. Okay, let's put everything on us then. Uh, this uh, is gonna be, of course, a pretty coif. Uh, Hoberg and chassis, first chassis, probably. On top of that, Hoberg. This down, put Brigandine up. Right now the Waffen Rock can go there. This is yeah, silver spurs on the boots. With it Paul drones, noble male scoif. And of course helmet. It can be coming to Hogy as well. No reason to have it on us. Shield on the back. Uh, 
Metal mat. There we go. And the gauntlets. And where's my panache? There it is. Okay, so we are probably ready. I'm gonna be checking here a bit. Her hand and doesn't seem to be any kind of other part of this. So let's do it. I've come about the Oh. Yes, sir. See you later. What? Hanukkah here, Zalush. What the hell? I wasn't offered that option on the quest. The master huntsman is not coming. The master huntsman arrests poachers, not murderers. Will you come quietly? What do you say, man? <laughs> what? What the hell? This quest objective wasn't there. Or was it? Or have I completely missed that? Because I was happy, I really wanted to go there. Man, did I miss that quest here? Oh, I'm really pissed right now. Uh, let's just load this up. I'm really curious if I really mess this up. Because I wanted to go there first and foremost. 21.50, okay. Maybe, maybe I got confused because these are basically two quests at once. And that, that got me maybe confused there. And I overlooked it because I really... The first thought that I had was that I had to meet with them in the clearing. But I also didn't see any kind of update to that, I think, on the quest. Okay, so here we are. It's gonna be the morning here. Uh, I want to get a task. Damn. the board task here right so I don't need to go back and I still need to talk to Vashek though all the nonsense Very curious right now what's gonna happen. So far I'm gonna assume that it was my mistake. But yeah, let's see if it really was or not. God be with you. I hear you No sir. I won't hit. Really? Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, where is it? Right. May the Lord watch over. Alright, so that's this one. Let's head back. Quite often I actually roll with how, even if I somehow screw up or whatever, but sometimes, rarely, rarely, when I really want to do something and somehow the game either tricks me into something different, like for example, sometimes the options in the di dialogues are really absolutely not helping and aiming towards what you'll be thinking that they are for, but here I'm really curious if I just Screwed it up. All oh, the quest got gone, and no. Is it some? Maybe it's some kind of 
on purpose hidden quest. I don't know. Because I was really looking, if you remember, for where is the glade that I could be meeting with them. That was basically the first instinct and what I would want to do. For some reason. I just missed that. Yeah, damn it. And we didn't have our breakfast. Forget about that. Right now, there's a quest of her hunt. Okay. Sheep and wolf's clothing optional. Bring Nicholas's horn to location. Okay, so is that quest still gonna be active or not? That's the question for me. If it is still gonna be active, then I completely messed up and just didn't notice the update on the quest. I have that horn for you. Huh? Last time you told let's put it this way. Why does he have there's more okay, than that's already going through all mid. of this? What's he trying to do you want to know? Soon enough. It wouldn't buy hear ye. I heard the huntsman as my old grandma used to say. Anyway, if you want to know So, what comes we're just getting something big ready. Alright? I'll meet you there. Go to Captain Robart. What else is gonna be showing up there? Nothing. Goodbye. Yeah, so you can see the quest is is still here. All right, so I did miss it. I messed it up. In the clearing in there. All right, so right now is the question: if I should continue with messing it up or other missing it and whatever, but I. This is probably gonna be the one of the things that I'm gonna be kind of fine to load. One of the rare things because I just wanted to do this. I really wanted to <laughs> to see this through this part. It's though very, very strange that the game is not actually showing the update to the quest because there is an update to the quest and it just didn't show. It basically is forcing you. Kind of to go to Captain Robart. Very ass. It doesn't exactly tell you that there is a new thing. And maybe it could be because it's optional. That it doesn't show optional things. That it's on purpose hidden. Kind of thinking it might be. Kind of thinking it's not impossible that it's actually on purpose done like that. But it's optional of course. You don't have to go there. So maybe. I don't know. But anyway, it's gonna be resulting into battle. So let's see, let's eat meat with them because that's what I wanted to do initially before I screwed up. Because I didn't see the quest in there. So let's just let's just do it. Because I wanted to do the thing. I made a mistake because I was blind. Well. With you, Henry. Still kind of thinking about it. Because really in this playthrough I kind of like to roll a whole lot. Even with my mistakes. But this one is kind of tough to decide on. north from here. Okay, there 
that, that was a way through here, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna be fine with going here. Because I really didn't want to talk to Captain Robart at all. And especially since it's scripted that way, that it results in through fight. That is really another pretty much bullcrap. Because obviously I would have a lot to say, because apparently I discovered that it was all bullshit and Nicholas is the one to blame. So yeah, they should be poachers, but there should be a whole lot more talking, talking done. It's kind of weird. Oh, it's resolved. Uh, ah, well, I went past it. Uh, it's the road. Okay, let's see. So you're the new fellow. Lucas said you know a thing or two. Question is, can we trust you? Would I be here if you didn't? Probably not. Did Lucas tell you who's in charge? Nice armor on him. Well, speak of the devil. Started to worry you weren't coming. It couldn't be helped, Goathead. I had to get a document written up, and the nearest priest I can trust is in Yanowitz. Not writing your will already, sir. <laughs> Who is this? Henry. Lukesh brought him. He nicked Nicholas's hunting horn for us. <laughs> then I'm sure we'll get on like a house on fire. Is everyone here? Everyone. Except that fool Rada on the charcoal burner. No one's seen hide nor hair of him. We can't delay. If he's not back by evening, we go without him. So, Henry, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Why you came here? Where you come from? You know how it goes. I want to know your story. What if I don't have one? Everyone has a story. These ways, everyone in this clearing does. Sir! Sir! The Tomburgers are coming! Hmm. Anakin Herr, Zalush, I arrest you in the name of Lord Divish of Talnberg. The Master Huntsman is not coming? The Master Huntsman arrests poachers, not murderers. Will you come quietly? What do you say, man? All right. Okay, it's a fight anyway. In which case I might be kind of fine with rolling with it. With my mistake then. Okay. Okay, so this is where it goes. Oh. Uh, huh. Okay. Ah, that's not good. This should be definitely a timed option. Should be a, you should be having a timer for this, because obviously you should be really deciding under pressure to basically force it on you. Uh, this is really kind of stupid. Like, her is... Her is invis- or rather invisible. He is not responsible for the murder, but he is the poacher. And they are coming for the poacher, not the murderer. In which case, I, I just have a problem say, siding with her here. You made your choice, Her. Time to pay for your crimes. What have we got here? Just what I want to make. Okay, we cannot yeah. fail that quest then. Why should we be really killing? 
killing them though. It's really making very limited sense overall. Okay, they slaughter them really badly. Yeah. Well now, look what's come crawling out from under some rock. Over here! Yeah. Where is everyone? Quick! Raise the alarm! I don't even know to shoot him like that. Let's see how it actually holds up. <laughs> Shouting alarms and whatever. So he's a toast right now. I'm having really conflicted thoughts about this. Hmm. What? This really conflicted thoughts about all of what actually transpired right now. If it's gonna be ending in a battle anyway, I might just basically go with how I did it the first time, even though it was a screw up. But then, apparently, if I side with her. The quest could be continuing. <sighs> the load is, yeah, in the morning, in that. We, we will have to repeat everything again. This is... This yet again kind of weirdly designed quest slightly. Because when you think about it, we have already gathered plenty of information to basically help her. What? Why did that fail? Okay, that's wrong. <laughs> Living kind of weird head here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reload because this this is not right. This is definitely not right. That we failed the quest somehow or whatever. It's just bullcap. Not sure. Did he like run away? Because I don't see the dead body of him here. It's actually possible he somehow ran away, I just didn't notice it in the battle. Or is he the one that died last? I kinda think it might be him that died last. Oh, it's just a poacher. And he's a, he was having really fancy armor. This is not him. He ran away. He certainly ran away. Fighting against the soldiers, really killing the soldiers is completely screwed up. This is... <laughs> I really... I kinda like options that makes... that are actually having some consequences, but I don't like stupid options. So basically you have two demented options and the one or more that are reasonable are not, not possible. That, that is not fun, that is bad design unfortunately. I'm really thinking this is one of the cases here. Because really quite obviously what, we, what would at this point, I mean the knowledge we have, would be doing is trying to stop the fight. Because obviously Nicholas is the douchebag. The poachers would need to of course be... Would of course need to be dealt with. But otherwise... Dumper. I'm having a lot of meat on them. Hmm. If I side with her, it's gonna be continuing somewhere. We kill a lot of Townberg soldiers, which is just idiotic. Hmm. 
man, tough decisions. Tough decisions how we actually want to proceed. At this point seems basically all the options are stupid. I'm kinda tempted to go with the one that I that I did in the first time. So with the quest screw up. But I'm definitely curious how, how the quest actually resolves. Otherwise, if you help Hanekin. But to be honest, I just don't see a way how I could be fighting for him and right next to him against the soldiers. That's just a completely stupid situation. I mean, they, they just basically clearly said they're going for poachers, not murderers. So they don't care about that. And he just attacks them, so he's... It's basically on him, the fight. So I guess let's do it that way then. It's disappointing because I think this quest should have been done a whole lot more cleverly. As in there should have been a better option given to basically try to talk them out of it. But yeah, let's just go talk to Captain Robard then and do it as we did it the first time. Basically the screw up way. Also kind of annoying that you don't get that you don't get safe after talking to Vashek. Because there are a lot of points on the quest that you get the saves. For example, there is also no save after after talking to to the guy that you give him the horn. But I think that might be intentional to make the decision what to do a bit more impactful. But in that case I really don't like how they are keeping from you. The update to the other quest. It's kind of sucky. Jesus Christ! I hit you. I'll be with you. Alright. It's basically otherwise, as the game is really fun all around. Uh, that is something that annoys me quite often when you are having quests and they are designed in a way that you are missing obvious options. That really kind of annoys me. When basically... <coughs> Sorry. Where uh, the choosing and the options to choose are forced on you in basically stupid manner. And you basically I understand why they want to do it, but I would definitely want them to be a whole lot more clever about it. Cow dropping in the middle of the road from the sky. Hello. Just gonna be really disappointed if we're not gonna be getting to the down, down to the truth of it, and won't be able to take Nicholas down. Gonna be really disappointed. If the only way to do it is to follow up with Hanekin, kill the Tamberg soldiers. This is demented. 
How are you? I have that ho- Huh? This Why did that do? What do you want? It would hit. I heard, as my old grandma used to say, truth always comes out in the end. Anyway, if you want to know the details, ask him yourself. So, we're just getting something big ready. We'll make camp in the north of Broder Woods. There's a concealed glade, and that's where you'll find us. All right, I'll meet you there. Goodbye. All right. So her hand, I scan the very shepherd back to Nicholas, the master huntsman, go to Captain Robert. Maybe also the quest could be going a whole lot differently if he actually talked to Nicholas, the master huntsman. But we never wanted to talk to him, so I'm not gonna do that. So that is not how it proceeded the quest. Sheep in wolf's clothing. It is them in the clearing. At the same time, this quest, when I started it, I was basically going all the way through. So, I wanted to talk to him about then choosing the site. Really, the fight there makes really kind of little sense. How they found them, that's a first real question. How the hell did they do it? And I had to go through all those hoops to even find them. That's something really kind of unexplainable quite a bit. Hmm. It's gonna be some kind of re revenge against Nicholas, I would be expecting. Or something along those lines, if you actually follow up. And fight against the town Bergians. Hmm. Basically, if I don't fight at all, it seems like the poachers lose, so it probably depends if... Let's... Let's attempt to side with him. And not fight. I'm really tempted to right now explore all the options of this quest. It's a really weird one. Weird one all around. I'm really curious about all the options here. That was a fight. God be with you, Henry. With you too. I'm also fairly confused why the soldiers from Townbrenk are actually not recognizing me. Especially since I'm having their Waffenro. It's really kind of confusing me there also a bit. It's a conundrum. It's a real conundrum this one. I'm really curious what's gonna proceed, what's gonna happen next. Uh, I'm just gonna side with him and see how it goes. And then we'll potentially load into the first option. I kinda wanna see what I may be potentially missing and... Like, what is overall going on? So, 
I missed it already. I think that may have. Yes, I already did. This is going to be skipped. So you're the new fellow. Lucas said you know a thing or two. Question is, can we trust you? Would I be here if you didn't? Probably not. Did Lucas tell you who's in charge? Well, speak of the devil. Yeah, he got away from the fight. Pretty certain that he did. That's why the quest actually failed overall. I had to get a document written up, and the nearest priest I can trust is in Yanowitz. Not writing your will already, sir. Who is this? Henry. Lukesh brought him. He nicked Nicholas's hunting horn for us. Then I'm sure we'll get on like a house on fire. Is everyone here? Everyone. Except that fool Rada and the charcoal burner. No one's seen hide nor hair of him. We can't delay. If he's not back by evening, we go without him. So, Henry, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Why you came here. Where you come from. You know how it goes. I want to know your story. What if I don't have one? Everyone has a story. These ways, everyone in this clearing does. Sir, sir, the Tomburgers are coming. Okay, so four people are here. I arrest you in the name of Lord Divish of Talmberg. The Master Huntsman is not coming? The Master Huntsman arrests poachers, not murderers. Will you come quietly? What do you say, man? <laughs> okay, so we, they are actually other murderers. I didn't understand it correctly what they were saying. So they are dead to actually kill him right off. Henry? I say there's nothing to fear. What, what are you doing? Got here? Of life, are you? Great. I need my horsey though for this. Just misses, really. How the hell am I supposed to save him? With my skills. <laughs> I know how this one ends. Okay, so that is actually pretty hard battle apparently. Huh. Well, Can would you look at that? Anakin hair. 
Nice hunting sword piercer. Hmm. Wow. Nicholas's testimony, hair string. Okay, so this is a lot of things right there here. Decorated riding boots. Testimony of Nicholas Angel about the crimes he did against Hanekin hair. How the hell did that actually happen? Senior ring of the hair of Zalush family. Oh. Okay, so he failed absolutely everything. <laughs> Interestingly enough. So I'm assuming that if we don't take part, then they are screwed. The knights are just better prepared than everything. No question about that. And I guess if we take this... Nothing much happened. No, not any kind of new quest. So are we like not gonna be able to even finish anything? Huh. Hmm. This is weirdly played out. Weirdly played out indeed. And it seems like basically the idea there is gonna be that he does have some kind of forged... Forged basically confession of Nicholas and from that Nicholas is gonna be put out of his position something along those lines that's I'm thinking that's gonna be like the way how the quest actually continues there I'm really thinking that might be the case how it actually is resolved then so, not good. Pearson looks like a pretty solid sword. As I will get it before we load, just because I'm just curious at this point. I actually think that I do have this one already. It's even stolen because he wasn't attacking me, so yeah. <laughs> Obviously. And the last one soldier actually shot that to the back. It was somewhere here. Yeah, there he is. Gonna be some normal sword for him, but otherwise... Yeah, well, all of those extra weapons and armors that he's having, that's definitely gonna be helping him quite a bit, of course. Hmm. We would have to headshot really well. Or we can try to join him in the fight. Hmm. Problem is that I'm gonna be joining the fight basically unprepared. Because, yeah, that's how I actually went into it. So right now let's do it last way. If I go there with Captain Robart, I don't even get a choice to do anything. Really kind of demented quest <laughs> all around, damn it. Causing me no end to my pain in my brain. What to do with it? You know, thinking I would just basically do the first thing that I did, even though it's completely wrong and stupid and it's a mistake. I really would like to see what actually goes on if we save her.
safe, Henry. Oops. <laughs> Too early. I'm to the branch, knock me down. Oh, sorry, Pavos. <laughs> Didn't want to punch you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was an honest mistake. I hope you believe me. I keep getting knocked down by all the various things in there. Well, banging my head into the signpost here. Definitely makes plenty of sense that it would happen. Did I knock the cow down or something? Nah, she's fine. Okay. I was just hearing some kind of thump noise. So I thought it was actually me knocking her down somehow. I saw that. That is unfortunate that you should be fighting this without armor. Evacuate yeah, doesn't have a shield. There are a lot more of them here <laughs> than I thought originally. I went right through his head. Toast. How about you? Okay, you're running away already. Okay, so run. And this was the whole ambush or not? That's a question here. But anyway, that was interesting. So right now that leads me to wanting actually right now I really not load anymore bandage better hunting arrows yes otherwise can okay, my g 300 thank you melkoi thank you hauberg no reason for that salami i'm gonna take that and 191 for when braces here yeah, you can keep that as well that's just 200 in really all that useful and how's it looking with the saber come on saber 151 yeah you can keep that.
Okay, so in the end, you're actually able to deal with this quite fine, even without any kind of armor. So good. Let's have a look if he fell down somewhere. Because I'm pretty certain I did hit him a few times. So he might be bleeding and whatever. Maybe he dropped somewhere close by that. Or maybe he didn't. <laughs> Where was actually the ambush though taking place? Uh, was it here? I think it might have been. Here's yeah, the crossroads here, so I kind of think it might have been it. Just gonna look if maybe there's still somebody hiding somewhere. Uh, doesn't seem so though. And there maybe will be a few arrows flying somewhere on the ground, but not really mattering too much at this point, I think. So where do we need to go from here? We need to go exactly to the left, the northwest. Or do we? No, well, not too much. Let's just put down the bow and head a bit more down here. This is where we need to go. And also, this is what is an, another important part is that I actually misunderstood how the conversation went. They are not really going for poachers or other for poachers. They are thinking they are going after the murderer. And that is wrong, so he should be defended in that case. Hmm. God be with you. I have that horn. Huh? Laugh it. What is this? What do you want? It would hit. Ah, there is me with the poachers in the clearing. This is actually where it is. Where it starts. Alright. So I missed that, that in my the old conversation. Hey. So I was Sorry. only blind. Alright. Okay. So the game is fine. It was really my mistake. As I thought on the second attempt. So yeah, okay. It was fully my mistake, not paying attention. Fully my mistake, not paying attention at all. <laughs> can go to horsey, horsey, horsey. Salami, how long does it actually hold? Five days. It's quite a bit. Quite a bit.
Hmm. Right now, I'm just thinking about the whole sequence of things. First, I went to Captain Robard because I messed up and I didn't notice the quest updating. I didn't even notice it in my journal when I was looking there, so it was just complete blindness for some reason. My initial thought was going exactly into the clearing. So, I attempted to do that. That's the first part. Second part is... Let's not fall off. Second part is... Whether to side with him or with the soldiers. And I sided with the soldiers based on misunderstanding of what they were saying. Which is yet again my stupid fault that I thought that they were there like for him as a poacher, not as a murderer, but it's exactly, exactly the opposite way. The other way around. They are there for him as a murderer, not for as a poacher. The poacher would be up to huntsman. So there is a point where I sh am tempted to really help him. Very completely stupid. This is a series of mistakes on my part. Series of mistakes on my part that well, 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 well. it right now to try and really save him and if I fail at that I'm already way past then let it be as that I'm tempted to do that course of action to basically try to help him but if I fail let it be at that Quite obvious that helping on a horse is not really gonna happen. Yeah, and unskippable, unskippable <laughs> cutscene, unfortunately. So you're the new fellow. No, we actually can skip this. Okay, so let's listen right now carefully. of Zalush. I arrest you in the name of Lord Divish of Talmberg. The Master Huntsman is not coming? The Master Huntsman arrests poachers, not murders. Will you come quietly? What do you say, man? That is also a stupid idea that he wants to fight this. Now they come in here for him as a murderer. This is just a series of mistakes the same as mine, it seems like. I just probably gonna right now try to save him. I say there's nothing to fear. What's that? Well, Answer to my prayers! <laughs> just when I want You'll get what <laughs> for the peach. <laughs> I'm not really good at this, so I'll just try to hit him. <laughs> Probably gonna slaughter me at this point though. Especially without the shield. Yeah, yes. 
no way I'm surviving this fight, even that I should be taking it. Weak at the knees, have you? Oh. <laughs> Let's see if we can even survive this. I don't think so. Yep. Nope. Well, this is really probably the most complicated quest as far as thinking about it as I have so far encountered. Quite interesting. Right now I'm tempted to just go the first way, just screw it and... Yeah, well, mistakes were made. I really, to be honest, I don't like single option. I really think that that there has to be, well, that there should have been a better option. That how it is actually done is kind of forced option for no good reason. That the correct option would have been something completely different. And the reason why it probably bothers me so much is because I've invested quite a bit into all the side quests and it was actually kinda it really is some major quest. And probably why it annoys me so much that the resolution is so stupid. <laughs> Good health. Is there gonna be another ambush? Something for us this time around as well? Probably not. This time it was clean. No humans waiting for us. Probably some burial mound just ran across. Some night's resting place, some night of very old. <laughs> so sorry for that, that wasn't nice of me.
Good health to you. I have that horn for you. Ah. What? That's new. What's he? It was. I. That's my old. Okay. So, we. All right. See you later. Okay, so I kind of think I'm gonna do as the last thing in the middle way. As you can go and meet them, but I will join the soldiers because they're... And think about it, they offer him the peaceful way. He just chooses to fight. But that they're just completely retarded, all things considered. So let's just fight with the knights and be done with it. It seems like the most reasonable solution in the moment and the one that I actually chose with kind of information and when I think about it all together as not much of even though he is innocent of the murder apparently they give him the option to go with them peacefully but he just refuses and just starts a fight without trying to explain or anything and I would be helping him of course he doesn't know that but yeah well it's his choice. So let's do it that way then. Lord Divish of Talmberg. The Master Huntsman is not coming? The Master Huntsman arrests poachers, not murderers. Will you come quietly? What do you say, man? <laughs> Henry? You made your choice, Hare. Time to pay for your crimes. What well, are you doing here? He is actually running away. All right. So that's the whole point here. Okay. Sorry for that little pause, uh, but the question is where the hell did he run? He ran somewhere this way. I just completely lost him. Okay, so he starts fighting and runs away. Kind of an idiot is he? Letting his friends basically die. Well, are you some random dude? Where could he have actually run? No freaking idea. Since I'm not getting the quest failed yet, it almost seems like I'm on the right track, more or less. There's some kind of help. He ran somewhere here. So I'm at this side, but when once I actually basically ran after Horsey, I completely lost him. There's no 
along this way, I'm getting through here. Okay, so he might be just basically this way south somewhere. Yeah, way on the wrong road. On the wrong path. Well, he ran away. He didn't catch him, so that is that. So we will probably still have something to do with him. So at least he's not dead like that. Way better. So there's gonna be some continuation, so this is you know, alright. Uh, but man, this is just basically speaking to how well how well this game is is on graphics. Basically, you can absolutely lose him in the forest if he's in green. You just don't see him at all. I just have no idea where he ran. I'm gonna be dead, the dead guys. Yeah, I'm not gonna be looting them. I'm just gonna be curiously looking what they're having. Interesting. Interesting. A lot of meat and everything. There's even some nice piercing arrows. Oh, aha. Only one. <laughs> okay. And there was one more. No, that was a boar. Okay, so that's all three poachers dead here. The fourth one is gone. Oh, actually, it's four of them. That's one, that, that's one more than I remember here being. Rather being here. These are in a lot of meat as well. But yeah, I'm not taking anything from them. Because this has been a crime scene basically at this point, and I'm gonna be curious if this is gonna be continuing. Okay, disappointed that I missed him, but at the same time, it's kinda alright, that's how it went the first time as well, he ran away. So, th th this, this is a failure I'm comfortable with. This is a failure I'm absolutely fine with. Because there's apparently going to be continuation somehow. So let's see about that. Dead poachers. Yeah. Let's head back then and... See how to continue this quest. Because right now I'm slightly even confused what's going to happen. Probably should be coming to Nicholas. Yeah. Or maybe there's going to be some surprise waiting for us. Who knows? Yeah. 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 Or maybe we could be going to talk with the black dude. It's not a stupid idea. Yeah, let's go talk to him first. Let's see what he has to say. So right now we are kinda yeah. slightly outed, but probably not maybe with him yet. Because I don't think he died there. So he might be able to tell us where he actually might have run to. 
And I would also like to speak to Captain yeah. Robard just about now. Yeah. yeah, let's talk to Captain Robard first. Because his, his soldiers probably told him something. I'd be curious what. Good health to you. Okay, I think for him. She has a one human ear to give him, so let's do that. He's actually still here, or maybe he's gonna be dangerous. Hmm. Goodbye. All right, something from you. All right. Your silence, then. Keep your silence. means that the next to speak to is probably gonna be Master Huntsman. Yeah. I'm really kinda curious if this is gonna be it, or for the quest, or if there's gonna be some continuation, because he could have seen that on his corpse, when he died, in some of the previous yeah. attempts, that he actually had... That he had some claims of Nicholas. Yeah. I think that was forged, probably, even though it wasn't written like that. Kind of possible, not entirely certain why he would be actually letting everybody know what's going on. He could also be talking to Margaret. Yeah. Much rather talk to her first then. Let's talk to her. If she's around. So where is your wife, dude? Okay, it's a lockpick. And we're looking for a lady in green dress. Right, let's find her then. Where could she be? Where could yeah. she be in the tower? In. Not much of a surprise that she's not there. <laughs> and what is actually yeah. this way here? I have seen a few people coming this way before. Okay, it's a fisherman and yeah. his spawned and that's pretty much it. Here. Yeah. I'd be really kind of glad if I knew actually <laughs> her routine, yeah. which I unfortunately don't. Uh, she's probably not gonna be anywhere here. It seems. So let's just jump on the other side of the river. Or river. Small creek, rather. Yeah. And yeah, that's yeah. what I wanted to look at. If you are having actually the Lord watch over you, a Hedley. dog skin. Stoy. Stand down there. Take care. Dog skin. Yes, she is having a dog skin.
You need to buy yes, that for that other course. stupid quest. Hmm. Uh, let's bring it out to about, I don't know, maybe 12. So you won't convince me. Yeah, 12 is solid. That's a sum like. Get a hold of dog skin. So there we go. Yeah. 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 What could her routine possibly be? Yeah. What's going on there? Just passing through, passing through, looking for random people in your backyard. <laughs> no reason to be alarmed. Yeah. No reason to be alarmed at all. Yeah. Is that her? Is that green dress? No, it's not. Yeah. She is having kind of vibrant green dress. She should be kind of easy to spot. Yeah. So far, she's anything but. Let's have a look into the inn. Maybe she's gonna be inside or... I don't know. Okay, not here. Not here either. Hmm. Hopefully she has already somehow returned back. To her home from wherever she was, because at this point I really don't know where to look for her. Unless she's like locked home. Or maybe she has also run away yeah. with Hanekin. That is also a possibility. Yeah. And not a completely stupid one. I cannot find your wife, so let's just. The two, I guess. Is she home? At this point, who knows? God Almighty, has something. And he doesn't speak to me anymore. So it seems like that basically the quest is over. That that is really strange resolution, especially considering what we have all learned. I would be expecting that you might be wanting to find him somewhere. But since you kind of failed to catch up with him... Yeah, we failed in that. Okay, so... That was a way how to catch him, but... Yeah, I'm gonna be continuing with this failure. This kind of failure is fine with me. When I fail to catch somebody... Through normal means. So that's alright. But I'm really curious. I'm really curious how he could have gone. I actually caught up with him. I'm fairly certain it would end up in some fight where he would be giving up, basically letting me in, and I would be then continuing forward and something. Well, but yeah, that's not gonna be happening here. Because this is a failure that I'm fine with. Just didn't catch him. I went back for the horsey and then I lost him in the woods. So he's gone. Anyway, so that's this. Those quests pretty much done. Masquerade, we are having a few things already. And I'm needing plenty of more. More of that and... King Silver. Or to do something with the horsey. Right now we are fairly close to Skalice, so I'm tempted to go for the silver. It's still kind of good time, so let's do it. So let's go. Uh, we should be, of course, going to Skalice though. Yep, to go all the way to Skalice. Hmm. Be a lot of day gone. 
And where are we gonna be catching sleep then? It's gonna be about three, four hours. Up deal. Yeah, let's do it. And we right now also have the spade, so we can actually have a look into into that treasure if we want to. I think on the roads, yeah, let's have a look at that. Why not? So... Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. and I forgot, forgot to actually prepare. That means. Put yeah. on armor. That's only one guy, really? Well, that's a poor attack. Yeah. Well, maybe it could be still solid attack if I cannot hit him. Yeah. Really, that went right under his arm, damn it. Okay, I got yeah. a chest. That was a very good hit. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going down. Yep. Yeah. Ouch. And now there's gonna be a problem because I don't have all that much on armor on me. Yeah. Is he like hidden behind the yeah. building or whatever? No, he's just standing there right now. Yeah. Hmm? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's already given up. Did. And running away. And with my arrows. Oh, come on. Did you actually at least drop your sword? Oh, he actually dropped an axe. A human axe. Is it actually worthwhile? Human axe. 97. Yeah, not really. Uh, but anyway, right now we can also take the opportunity to put everything on us. Let's put this down and start with, for example, for example, Mel Chassis, Garin Chassis, then it's gonna be of course on the head, I'm gonna be coming to the horse, see both of those, uh, Hoberg, Mel Scoif, Gandine, then we're gonna be heading up with Paul Drones. Fenrock also, why not? On top of that, a favorite helmet, of course, our heavy shields and our gauntlets. Are you ready? All nice and ready. <laughs> And <laughs> that dropped rather funny. <laughs> okay. That just happened. Just taking a screenshot right here because this is kind of funny. <laughs> 
uh, how it dropped for us. Uh, but anyway, you can already pretty much at Skalice. Yeah. So uh, let's put off the bow and away the bow and have a look around what we should be doing. Find a treasure under the tough coat. So let's let's go into the city. I right now unfortunately don't remember which one it was anymore. Why are we saving? Because of this? Yes, because of this. Yeah. First let's have a look top side. Uh, how do you get into yeah. the city after yeah, this here? Which one it was? Uh, the one on the left there? I think that might have been it. The one here. Okay, we need to pick up our spade though. Because that's on pebbles. So no, it wasn't here. So where is the next one? <laughs> if only I properly remembered, damn it. Oh yeah, it is here. Baron's Cup and Groshans. Alright, so we are gonna be leaving this here and just basically roleplay. He's here! He found it. That Kunash wasn't lying. But I know this goblet. It belongs to Baron. And he's still oh. alive. I saw him in Ratai among the refugees, wearing red as always. Now what? <laughs> I would keep it here. I would keep it here and basically uh, cover it up back again. That's what I would do. Unfortunately, the option doesn't seem to be really available. Find the treasure we did. So do we like take it and then put it back? Reach level in stealth. Completed the quest. Alright, that's fine. So the quest is gonna be done and we're gonna be just putting it back. Back here and we would just basically Uh, cover it up again because this is not ours and if we brought it to Beran you'll be just angry how the hell did we found it find it and whatever nonsense is when he kept it actually buried in this so yeah let's just basically pretend that we covered it up we probably cannot go back here this way Put the spade back on you, because you don't need it anymore. Ah, oh, spurs, that's something that we didn't pick up. Oh, 
Now let's have a look at the silver mining capabilities and capacities and whatever over here. Uh, how do we get out this way? Yeah. First was here. Okay, so what are we supposed to do at this point? I mean, the mining works. Examine the ore processing yard. There is a smoke coming out of this building, which is what? Oh yeah, that's it. Okay, so it's yeah. here, it's not... Oops! Fell down. Yeah. Sorry Pebbles for potentially breaking your legs. <laughs> yeah. A potato viking fell. Unfortunately, a few bugs have been introduced in 1.6. It, it kind of depends if you are tolerant to bugs or whatnot. I'm kind of old school gamer, so I'm used to all kinds of things, for example, from Daggerfall. So I just don't mind. Who's there? Looks like they smashed things up nicely. Alright. Well, Pebbles, how did you actually turn around here? You're pretty good. <laughs> Hello, yeah. and miss. Damn it. But yeah, I don't really find all that many bugs. What I'm more worried about is... Ouch. Are quests that are having kind of strange design overall. Wow. He is definitely on to me. Okay, right now I need to concentrate a bit. Oh, yeah. I'm out of arrows. Uh, wounded arrows, tournament arrow, ordinary arrow. Do we have a better long distance, better piercing arrow? Ah, let's try to hit him with this one. We manage. Come boy. That was a damn good hit. Uh, to be honest, the bugs are not really that bad. Maybe, maybe I'm playing on PC. Maybe question is how it's on Xbox and PlayStation. I've heard the version of all that is worse than for PC. But <coughs> sorry, but otherwise it's really kind of over uh, over exaggerated quite a bit. I've played the game basically from some of the first versions. Sorry. And it wasn't really that bad. It wasn't that bad at all. I'll be kind of maybe thinking that I have noticed more bugs with more patches, <laughs> to be completely honest. For example, there is definitely a bug in fights, but that came only later when I was basically seeming like a knight. So sometimes they basically break off fights without any kind of good reason. And I don't have any kind of good PC really, and I'm streaming on top of that. I could be basically playing on full details, no problem, if I didn't stream. But if I stream, I have to run on lowest details and everything, so I'm having a lot of stutters, you can also see that as well. Especially in cities, but yeah, the bugs are not really that tragic. It's not like you meet them on every corner, absolutely not. Absolutely not, you are having a lot of gameplay between some bugs that you can be finding and... Rarely, very rarely do you encounter game breaking bug. It's like some kind of small bugs that maybe if somebody is touch it can be taking them out of the immersion or whatever. But as I said, I don't have a problem with it, I just don't mind. 
and just role play and it's okay. Like for example, if a guy doesn't want to fight anymore, I just wait for him to engage again. Because I kind of already know how it works, so I know what's going on. Come on, shield, that's useless. The weapon is gonna be useless as well. So basically what you see on the internet is mostly mostly crybabies and really people that don't remember what happened, for example, with Skyrim. From what I have seen, I haven't played Skyrim myself, but from what I have seen, Skyrim was way, way worse than Kingdom Come ever was. So if you have played Skyrim and you survived through that, you should be surviving this quite fine. No, 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 not all. Oh, Hermit. Uh, Marigold, that's, that's a healing potion, why not? But otherwise he doesn't have anything useful. Everything is just basically crap. Considering he's actually mining silver, <laughs> he's not very wealthy. Yeah, like, let's be clear about the fact that the bugs, some are there. And sometimes it can happen that they are kinda annoying. For example, there is a bug that happened to me twice. That when I dismounted from a horse and it insta-killed me. But you need to consider it in the fact that I have about 105 hours in the game and it happened to me two times. So take it in that relation. Basically I'm having 100 hours in the game and game bugs like that happened to me max five times. Max maybe five, five times. Ah yes, sorry. Sorry that you didn't hear. But yeah, I just was basically saying that over the hundred hours of gameplay, maybe maybe five times I discovered the bug that could have been considered like r really serious. But otherwise not really anything bad. Yeah. Just bugs here and there. Like some small things rather. Yeah. Alright. Another gentleman to die. Uh, somebody to kill you. Alright, Archer. That might be a bit challenging. It's yeah. kind of harder. Oh, I don't have yeah. an arrow though. <laughs> Yeah, I need to... Oh, probably the long distance are gonna be fine, I guess. Yeah. Good one! One shot, one kill. That was a good hit. They are kind of weaklings, dear. So you are having better things, for example some nice loot. Hunter's Gloves, that's good ratio for price and whatever. So I'm gonna take those. Hunting arrows. Uh, we don't need them, those are bad. The deer venison food we're gonna take and that seems to be about it, but Master Huntsman Sword. For 474, yeah, you're taking that one. But the rest is not, not good enough. Where is your bow? Is that any good? It actually is. That's the one I'm having. Alright, so what do we do with the food here? This is coming to horsey. But I'm thinking I should be cooking the hair meat somewhere. Eating that one because that's already kinda going bad. And we should also be getting something to eat, so... Let's eat the apples in the meantime. Or rather, the, the apple. Well, the game is really absolutely stunning. That is definitely true. And it has to be considered that I'm right now looking... You are looking, for example, here. 
on the lowest details and I'm streaming on a potato. So it's really bad on that, but I really appreciate the look, even on the lowest details. And when I sometimes, for example, go on the highest details when I do, for example, overlays for YouTube, that's just really gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Okay, so here we are. Continuing with more people here, maybe. There is a dude. Oh, dude, sir. We're gonna need to turn around somewhere. Like, for example, here. <laughs> Okay, they're having good armor. Who's there? What's going on? Who's there? I, I would like one by one, boys. One by one, please. Is that the best you can do? Okay, now that's gonna be a problem, the archer there. Ouch! That's an even bigger problem, damn it! That was save me, please. Yeah. Yeah. Our Mong Mongolia ancestors would be so proud of us with our horseback archery. Okay, he got it into the knee. That's not gonna kill him. I was hoping for a headshot right there. At least into the yeah. armor, that's gonna be good. That all you've got? Yeah. Hello. So already running away. Okay, so we almost killed him. Maybe he's gonna be falling down somewhere. Drop the freaking shield. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Good night then. I'm gonna be probably ending soon as well. So yeah. hopefully gonna be seeing you at some other Steam and enjoy the game if you're gonna buy it. You call that combat? Yeah. <laughs> where, where do we have you? Have you blocked somewhere? Yeah. What the hell was that? Oh, there he is. What have yeah. you got here? Entertainment! Great! There we go. Very good hit into the belly. And also we are having pretty good level at this point, which is the reason why we are able to also fell them so easily and good bow. And if they are not having proper armor against arrows, then they are getting easier for us to kill. Okay, it's two hour. Oh, that's a good one. Marigold. Red deer hide, taking that. Because that is sometimes actually needed for some side quests. But otherwise, the rest of it... Nothing interesting. So, some Gambesons. 471. Oh, for other 4710. That's actually better than what I'm having, right? 4711. 3610. That's a better one. Let's take that and repair it then. It's gonna be useful. As for the rest, that's probably gonna be kinda crappy. Hmm, let's have a look what could be useful. We're not gonna be repairing everything just to sell it later, they're just not economical at all. So let's have a, have a look around here. On the rest, 181, 85. Yeah, nothing really good. We're having the silent shoes, it's kind of fi fine, and I don't want to take shoes from dead people. Okay. So 
So that's it for you, and we are gonna be having extra sword from you. Dog skin. Yeah, we can keep that because that's for a quest. On Turkish class horse, Marigold. Two of them on the horse is certainly Master Hunts and Sword 400 yet again. So there is going to the horsey to be sold and then Red Deer Hide. Horsey. Gambes on horsey. Gonna have to clean that up before we put it on us. Yeah. So what about the other guy? Did he like die or... Yeah, there seems to be a dead body here. Yep, he dropped dead. He did. That is very good news, of course. So what do you have? Apple, bandage, my two arrows in you. That killed you. Giras! That is looking like an upgrade. I can that. And taking that for certain. 383, that's worthwhile. 400, worthwhile. But the rest, that seems to be kind of crappy. Composite gauntlets, you're having better one. Chainmail, useless. You're already having Hallberg. That seems to be it. It was a good guy and he lost the sword somewhere here. I'm thinking he might have had a good one. Let's let's look around here. Let's put down the uh, the bow so that we are not distracted. But I want your weapon. It's gonna be dropped somewhere here. Last time I saw him, he was somewhere around this spot. And also next to the road. We started running somewhere here. It was after I hit him for the second time. And then I think that he actually promised stood and then started running or something along those lines. Give me your weapon, because this dude apparently was well, well off. That Kiras and everything on him. I so want your weapon, though. Mm. Unhappy. Unhappy that I cannot find it. Because he probably left the weapon somewhere when he started to run away. Rather than where he died. Because if he died running, then of course he would be having it on him, which he doesn't. I'm just gonna move with Pebbles a bit. Case he was just standing on it. Apparently wasn't. Now let's pick him up. Okay, screw that. I'm next to an enemy camp, that's alright. <laughs> you cannot really hurt me. I'm having pebble side next to me. And it could be catching some good glints, the potential weapon and shield. I actually don't think he was having a shield, I think he was having only a weapon. That is an arrow, alright. It's not bad, it's at least something. And also right now we should be resolving the question of where we're gonna be sleeping. Because sleeping here right next to the bandits seems like a pretty stupid idea. 
not too inclined to do anything like that and of that ilk. But then where? Because anywhere close by there's nothing. There's that guy in Rovna maybe. Could we maybe sleep in with him? Uh, the one we actually helped with the priest to get in the priest for Rovna. So maybe there is an idea where to sleep around here. Otherwise you would have to back, head back either to Townberg or maybe maybe next to Mrchojady to, to that army camp. Is your weapon? I'd very much like to get my hands on that. No, that's not his weapon. That's something random. Not very optimistic at this point that I would be able to find it. That's a really shame. Yeah, especially at night, you probably won't be able to get anything unless we got some lucky glint of the weapon from the torch, but I don't exactly expect that. Is apparently unfortunately gone. Hey, what was that light there? Oh, just stars. All right, just stars. And is he already spawned? Apparently not. He's still here. Still here, but without his trusty weapon. No, oh, all right. Unfortunately, then gone. Anyway, so right now how to resolve our sleeping situation. Cannot sleep there. Cannot sleep in Vyslavice at all. Uh, can I guess? Let's see about Rovna then. About that guy. Means... Let's put up the torch. Put a few things on horse as well. Oh, that's a bit too heavy for him, all right. Uh, but at any rate, right now we are at 58 with, with food, that's not good. And Ham is almost going bad, so I'm really right now gonna be interested in Southeast, in Turovna. Maybe he's gonna be having a fire yeah. in there. It's actually that. It might be him. Yeah. Uh, the light on the on the horizon. That might be him. Maybe not. Probably not. He was somewhere close by here. Or was he? I don't think he actually was, he yeah. was somewhere around here. Here? Maybe? Hmm. 
Nope. Okay, it's yeah. burned down, so he definitely wasn't there. Maybe here. Yeah. This little shack. Yeah, this is where he was. Yep. This is certainly where he was. Okay, Pebbles didn't stay in the way then. So, can we like get your shut eye with you? Apparently not. Alright, so we need to head back somewhere. Yeah. So apparently somebody living up top. In this one. Yeah, that definitely is. But we right now need to get all the way here into the into the camp. So let's do that. That probably is gonna be an ambush. We need to go southeast. Yeah. Yeah. So more or less that way. Can we get up? Yes, you can. Now he's gonna be coming through the road, but that is probably gonna be a bit risky. Okay, it's not in. As I'm expecting, there might be some bandits waiting for us here. Yeah. So let's keep our eyes peeled. You're probably not gonna be able to see much. I see at least something. Come on! <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pebbles, careful about this. Yeah, you sure will. So afraid of you. Wow. Yeah. Be good actually to hit though. I kinda need to go out here. But I have better view of you, stupid guys. Do we want to even engage with them? Hey, they here. wasn't that hard now, was it? You're not going anywhere, aren't? Leave your weapon on the ground and get lost. What's to be done? Run away, boy. So, what was exactly our weapon? That's gonna be some kind of crap, right, anyway? Yeah, there it is. Spiked club. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's have a look at your friend then. I'd like to get rid of him as well. So, where did he go? Yeah. Was it looking at my nourishment? Not really good. Yeah. 
There he is. Yeah, you better yeah. run, you idiot. Okay, yeah. so you better run. That's fine. And put down yeah. bow and arrow. And right now, run, run, run. So that you can get some sleep. Camp. There is the camp for us to spend the night. Very good. Okay, Pebbles, so. Have fun here. I will see you in the morning. Uh, can we still do something about the hermit? No, the hermit is gone. But there are there was some other mean like for example the deer venison we can still prepare it on the fire okay let's use use this one deer venison yes let's right now sit down and have some nice. Put by the fire, some nice grilled grill trips or what is it? Okay, it's gonna be 17, that's quite solid. Okay, 17 of that, this is gonna be thrown away. Pretzels 75, 70. Alright, that's okay. Apples. I don't really fit with that bread roll though, yeah. Let's eat one bread roll with that. Or both of them, they're gonna be coming back in the morning, so let's just... Just eat both of them. With that, it was a big meal. So, yeah. Okay, so right now... Do you have some dump somewhere? Entirely certain if you do. What can I want to clean up? And then we have the dump. Nowhere nearby, it seems. Strange. Should be expecting that there will be some place like that where they dump everything they don't want, but not really seeing it readily. In which case, I guess screw that and let's go to sleep. Maybe even here, somewhere. Nah, nowhere. Anyway, we're gonna be throwing it away somewhere later. Right now, let's find a place where to sleep and sleep. Okay, usually go somewhere around here. Yep, this is the my spot. This is pretty much my spot, okay? And whole eight hours. And alright, that is gonna be it for today. Hope that you enjoyed the extra Monday session of King of Khan Deliverance, even though it wasn't really extra, it was just basically a replacement of the last Thursday. At yeah, well, that's gonna be more Kingdom Come on Thursday, unless there's gonna be Age of Mythology live match again, and otherwise Age of Mythology on Wednesday, the classic session, probably gonna be coming through some well, they're going through some tournament games as well. So yeah, of course, you can find all the links below the stream if you are interested in YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, if you want to follow me there. But otherwise, we'd be glad, of course, for a follow here on the channel. 
and if I would be seeing you some other day. And some other steam. So yeah, I've been Blackadder at Blackadder's Place. Thank you for watching and see you later.